Indian Air Force's Dhruv advanced light helicopter made a precautionary landing due to a technical issue during flood relief operations. Chinese negotiators have suggested to India that Chinese troops should be allowed to patrol in two sensitive areas along Arunachal that have been firmly under Indian control for decades. According to a Russian online newspaper, Russia and India are negotiating to increase the licensed production of Su-30 fighters by 50 additional units. The Armenian army has completed trials of six units of the ATAGs in various locations across Armenia, and the successful completion of these trials has paved the way for Armenia to proceed with the purchase of 84 more ATAGs from Kalyani Group. Apart from the initial 150 initial WAP 8x8 infantry fighting vehicles from Tata Motors, Morocco will acquire 400 more WAP units to replace the older French infantry fighting vehicles. Safran has announced its plans to set up a defense electronics facility in India, to manufacture sensors and vital electronics parts for military platforms. The center is all set to build a new airbase in Gujarat's Banaskanthar district, located just 140 kilometers from Pakistan, that will help the Indian Air Force in launching any kind of attack when needed. Bharat Electronics Limited has delivered the 100th Control Center for Air Defense Control and Reporting System. SSS Defense will supply 100 modification kits for AK pattern rifles to the NSG. As the Indian Air Force is all set to induct Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets in larger numbers, the Air Force's Software Development Institute and Aircraft and Systems Testing Establishment have adopted a proactive approach to implement regular minor upgrades every three years throughout the aircraft's life cycle, to ensure the aircraft remains relevant against evolving threats and technological advancements. The Air Force will carry out these upgrades using in-house facilities, to respond faster to emerging threats and make necessary enhancements without waiting for involvement of Hindustan Aeronautics. Bangalore-based Optics and Allied Engineering Private Limited has unveiled a single sapphire housing design to accommodate the electro-optical targeting system for India's AMCA project. The system will feature a durable sapphire window, known for its strength and resistance to damage, while maintaining a low drag and stealthy profile for maintaining the aircraft's stealth capabilities. Gujarat-based drone manufacturer Inside FPV has won the first prize in FPV category at Him Dronathan competition conducted by Indian Army in Ladakh. The company's Advic drone took off at an altitude of 15,600 feet, and it completed all nine obstacles within 2 minutes and 36 seconds, and it operated at the speed of 200 km per hour. Learning from the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the Army aims to induct these FPV drones as soon as possible, and interestingly, Ukrainian workshops are manufacturing up to 1 lakh FPV drones monthly. Shooter Sun Techno Solutions has developed a new 1 kg micro UAV, that has 50 minutes endurance, and an operational range of 7 km for counterinsurgency and rapid deployment surveillance. It can function in temperatures ranging from 55 degrees Celsius to minus 20 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for high-altitude warfare operations in challenging terrains. It is equipped with two electro-optical cameras and one infrared thermal camera, and has artificial intelligence-driven features and real-time data for making quick decisions. Today's Top 3 Comments